The battle started here because a Confederate unit moved into the town sort of poking around. And Lee had orders to all of his commanders, do not bring on a general engagement. But that unit that moved into Gettysburg and started the greatest battle in the history of the continent uh, did so against, in violation of his orders. In an example of history placing the right man at the right spot, Kentucky-born Federal Cavalry Officer John Buford is just such a man. Buford had entered Gettysburg two days earlier with 2,700 men and immediately realizes the town's strategic importance. He knows the Confederates are headed in his direction and if they're able to seize the high ground south and east of town, a Union defeat will be inevitable. The only question remaining is if his dismounted cavalry can hold out long enough for Union infantry to move up. General Pleasanton, my extreme left reports a large force coming from Fairfield in a direction to strike the Emmitsburg Road this side of Morse Creek. Gamble has just sent word that General Lee himself has signed a pass for a citizen this morning at Chambersburg. 